I am going to pretend to faint, to pass out on this floor, this very floor right here. Midnight. What is up to the gang? What is up to the mystery squad? I am back with another mother freaking video. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an experiment. Experiment that I'm gonna be doing is I am going to pretend to faint, to pass out on this floor, this very floor right here. And I'm going to see what my Yorkie poo pup is going to do. I have a puppy. He's four months and a half, about to be five months soon. Um, I just want to see what he's going to do when I faint because I be playing around and I be fainting and like he be doing stuff, but I haven't did that in a while. So I'm going to do it on camera and I'm going to get his mother freaking reaction. Let me show you him right now. Midnight. It's midnight right here. Midnight. Say hi to the peoples. I know he didn't got big. Oh no, he didn't got big. He definitely got bigger. We had also got him a bigger cage if... You didn't know i probably didn't film this but we definitely got him a bigger cage he got two beds and all that two beds and all that wee wee pads he's definitely happy here but i'm gonna set up the camera and i'm going to pretend to faint right now and i'm gonna see his reaction and the good thing is i don't even have to hide the camera or anything i could just put the camera anywhere and just do it and see what he does i'm gonna do it a few times to see and then i'm gonna update y'all a little bit on him because i haven't done a video with him or anything in a while so i'm gonna update y'all on some things that y'all should know I'm gonna try this one more freaking time because he's not really doing anything. He just looks concerned, but then I feel like he knows I'm playing. I'm gonna leave him on the bed. I'm gonna sit him on the bed and then I'm gonna faint on the floor to see what he does because there's too much distractions on the floor. So I'm gonna leave him on the bed and see what he does. Midnight. I'm gonna do it one more time because it seemed like I got his attention this time. <laughs> so that's 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 how he reacted before when i used to do it he used to give a better reaction maybe because he was just getting to this like he was just getting used to this house and he was just like man that's the person that feeds me so i can't have him dead now it's just like he knows i'll be playing right now he's playing with his little toy or whatever but he know i'll be playing let me give y'all a quick update of what's been going on in midnight's life i actually want to do a try on haul with him with like clothes because he has so much clothes it's unbelievable my mom spoils him she always gets him clothes and all that so i want to do a try on haul but i don't know if y'all would like stuff like that because y'all know how youtube is now but I, I feel like i'll still do it what's been going on with midnight we had to bring him to the vet because there was like this thing on his neck that we had seen and it was bleeding my mom had seen it um and we brought him to the vet and the vet said that he has mites Mites is not no freaking ticks or no freaking all that freaking ticks and lights and all that. It's not all that. Mites is, it's, it's like something that comes from another dog to another dog. It don't go to humans. It don't come from like dirt and all that. It comes from a dog to another dog. I don't know what dog he was around to get that, but he got mites from that dog. And it was like a thing on his neck and we had to bring him to the doctor and they had gave us this and something to drop into his ear and every night we have been dropping it in his ear giving him the eardrops and we spray this on the little cut that he has which i will show y'all the cut and all that let me show y'all right now because it was so sad i feel like it burns him when i put it on there because he like jumps or whatever he used to jump badly but i think it's getting better because i barely even see the little cut thing there but i'm gonna show y'all how i do it yes yeah, on this side he always give me a struggle Sorry, Midnight. He always give a struggle with it. And then I just like rub it in. 
as I said before, it's not ticks or all that bad stuff. It's just mites. Um, it's not contagious to humans. So we're all good over here. But I'm gonna go wash my hands because this stuff, it kind of smells a little bit. And then I'm gonna give y'all um, another update about what's been going on. And this one's kind of interesting. It's kind of scary. Yeah, let me go wash my mother freaking hands. So now it's time to tell y'all what's been going on that's type scary, type weird. Um, basically what's been going on is midnight, one time he was sleeping, he was sleeping in his cage or whatever, and he just wakes up and starts growling and barking and I never seen him like that before. And he, I opened the cage to see what's wrong. He runs out and he runs towards the kitchen. My room's by the kitchen. He runs towards the kitchen and he's just barking at nothing. Like he's barking at air. He was barking as if there was someone there, but there was nobody there at all. And he just kept barking and growling. And he seemed like he was really mad. Mind you, dogs can like sense spirits. Dogs type see things, you know, that we don't see. So like I thought about that and I'm like, dang, okay, that's only one time. Maybe, you know, he probably seen like a little bug or a fly or something and he probably did that then it happened again when he was out the cage and he ran towards the same area and he ran out of my room he started growling as if there was someone there and barking as if someone was there like he's angry and it just really scared me at that point because i do not play with ghosts let me tell you i'm black i don't play with ghosts i don't play with them spirits like i'm scared of all that i'm not gonna lie so the only spirit and goals I be dealing with is God. Then I looked it up and I had told my mom and when I looked it up, it had said that dogs bark. It said that if a dog just, oh my God, I thought I heard something. <laughs> I looked it up on Google. What does that mean when dogs just bark at nothing? It said that they can, it's probably like, something wrong with them maybe they're seeking for attention or maybe they seem like a spirit or a ghost so in that case i'm thinking it's a spirit or a ghost because he gets attention and you know there's nothing wrong with him i feel like it's a spirit and you know spirits be all over spirits be flying through thin air there's probably a spirit in here right now and um it's just scary because hopefully if it is any spirit or anything, hopefully it's like a good one and it's not a bad one because we don't want that in this house. But, you know, I prayed about it because that type of stuff is really no joke. Um, and yeah, and sometimes I could be dramatic with it. I could be dramatic and I could just think and just drag it to a whole nother level. It could have been just him barking at just nothing or just barking for no reason. But then again, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, what if it was like a spirit? And this is the second time. If he does it again, then I don't know. Then I'm gonna start really thinking. That's what has been going on lately with Midnight. Um, I showed y'all the new cage he got. I tried to do a little fainting, little prank on him, but I don't think he really gave a good reaction. So yeah that is the end of this video hopefully y'all enjoyed this mother freaking video if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel or if you already been watching and you're not subscribed what are you doing subscribe join the mother freaking mystery squad um give this video a thumbs up subscribe as i said comment down below more videos you want to see if not go dm me or yeah go text me on instagram instagram will be like right here and um tell me some videos you want to see because i'm down to do them by the way, I also will be traveling soon, so I'm going to vlog, you know, the traveling experience and all that. I'll be back with another freaking video. I'm out. Peace out, Mystery Squad.